Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at Third Eye Crime. Third Eye Crime is a stealth type game that we saw at PAX last year, and now it's available to play. Uh, this is a stealth game that has you stealing jewels and paintings, set in this noir universe uh, where you are trying to avoid guards and have sort of telepathic ability to see where they're looking next so you know where to head. You control your player by dragging around the screen. As you move around, you can uh, have him stop or continue to move. Uh, as you can see, you'll see where the guards are heading. In this case, I'm going to get caught since I'm in a place where they can uh, definitely see me. So I try to sneak around, but they see me there and immediately pursue uh, and catch me. Uh, in other versions, you can actually draw your whole path. There's some achievements in different levels that are asking you to draw one path and beat the level. Uh, without uh, taking your finger off the uh, iPad again. This is very interesting and definitely adds something to the game. The aesthetic of the game is definitely one of the main reasons to play it. As you can see, the level selection screen is very well done. There are also story elements that uh, you participate in that really try to capture this noir feeling and really take advantage of the way the iPad works as well, using sliding and other motions to go through the story at your own pace. This game really shines aesthetically. The noir aesthetic is very enjoyable, and uh, the gameplay itself is also great. It's a very great stealth gameplay. Um, I found myself a little um, hey. underwhelmed, I guess, because maybe I just was hyped up from seeing it for so long, but I definitely uh, don't know, maybe was expecting something different or something more, but definitely is great stealth gameplay, and I think delivers exactly what it promises. The game uh, comes with some basic levels and you can unlock more through in-app purchases. Uh, you also have power-ups that you can use which are also purchasable. I have to be honest, um, I played the game for quite a while and never felt the need for any of these uh, in-app purchases or types of items. So um, while they may be there and may cause an annoyance, I honestly think that it was designed in such a way that they're not necessary, just maybe if you're uh, specifically challenged with a level you can, uh, can use those. Uh, otherwise, the game is really enjoyable. The difficulty definitely wraps up at a steady pace, and uh, I definitely recommend checking this one out. It's definitely not a board game per se, but I think it has a lot of the puzzle elements that we like in board games, and it really requires you to search for solutions. Uh, and, you know, it isn't all about Twitch based, but more about planning and executing those plans. I certainly recommend taking a look at Third Eye Crime. It is a very interesting and a very unique game on iOS.